it's a fun way for people to get together and kind of do something just silly and fun for a holiday season. You know, it brings people together. It's fun to do. You piece them together. It, people have competitions. It makes way for prizes. You know, it's just a lot of fun. The uglier the better. Sky's the limit, you know. It's all about making it the ugliest that you possibly can. Um, some people who just, you know, don't like to go that bold, they'll usually buy one that's a little bit more generic. Families do it, friends do it, Christmas parties in general do it for work, anywhere, just it's a big thing, like, you know? It brings everybody together and has the commonality of the funness. Basically, when it comes to the holidays, you can put whatever it is that is holiday related on there that isn't too heavy, you know, that isn't weighing your sweater down. So a lot of times you can do bows and stuff like this. Um, garland's a really great one and just piecing together whatever little kinds of ornaments and stuff that you can to put on there. Well, usually when people are, you know, classifying a sweater, it's kind of like a knitted type sweater material. Um, a lot of people usually go typically with winter colors, um, either white, crimsons, reds, greens, all that stuff, just usually not more or less like neon colors and stuff, but you know what? Have also seen those as well, more of the neon greens mixed with some reds and stuff. If we are building an ugly sweater, key characteristics would be just, you know, a keen eye for what type of things that you want to have on there, how tacky you want to make that, um, and just putting all those pieces together, you know, adding a little flair wherever it is that you need. If you haven't tried making one, you should. That would be my advice. If you haven't done it already, you should definitely do it.